The Beetlejuice star is exploding. Terrifying warning by NASA's chief. The red supergiant star Beetlejuice is about to explode. This is a well-known and researched topic among astronomers. But there is something new that the chief of NASA wants you to know. Yes, after careful research and study, NASA has discovered the disastrous explosion of the red supergiant star will occur sooner than first thought. Space is a strange place, and researchers and astronauts have been studying it for hundreds of years. However, they still don't know much about it, as we had anticipated because of the incredible technological advancements made in the last few years. So now and then, we're lucky enough to learn something new, which always blows our minds. Betelgeuse is the 10th most bright star in the sky. So, with the assistance of the Hubble Space Telescope, we know about a supermassive star poised to blow up. We understand how scary this certainly feels, because stars are made of hydrogen when they're found. But don't panic, we'll tell you all you require to know about this disaster waiting to happen, like whether it is going to end the universe or otherwise. So to make sure everything makes sense, let's begin from the beginning and talk about the primary goal of this video. Betelgeuse Alpha Oriana is a red supergiant star approximately 1,000 light years from Earth. It is in the constellation of Orion, the mythical hunter, and is about 617 million kilometers across. This indicates it is approximately 764 times larger than our Sun. Well, that describes how we can see a star so far away. Even though the star is much more than 1,000 light years away from Earth, it's logical that this remains one of the biggest stars in the sky. Only 8 or 8.5 million years have passed since the star was born. Compared to certain other stars in our world, it is not as old and slightly weird if it's at the end of its lifespan. Betelgeuse has changed much faster than its peers, which may be the reason why it's about to die, because the giant is currently in the phase of becoming a red supergiant. Scientists predict that it'll eventually die by blowing up as a supernova. Now that we have brought this topic up, let's rapidly go over just how high-mass stars like our Sun and Betelgeuse die. Initially, they become red giant or supergiants. When they run out of hydrogen, they blow up in a supernova destroying their outermost layer and leaving only their center, which starts to downsize. Now, based on one's course mass and how it compares to our Sun, this fading diminishing star may evolve into a neutron star or a black hole. If it has less than three times the mass of our Sun, it transforms into a neutron star. And if it has more than three times the mass of our own Sun, it evolves into a black hole. A supernova can take millions of Earth years to transform into a black hole, but let's go back to Betelgeuse, which is about to have its memorial service. In 2019, astronomers analyzed and looked at information from Hubble Space Telescope and other telescopes and realized that the red supergiant was shooting up its upper section by splitting a massive portion of the exterior. The star has lost a considerable portion of the surface layer and made a significant surface mass ejection which has caused a big in comparison. Our Sun is definitely a giant. It also regularly blows off sections of its thin upper environment named the corona. This is termed a coronal mass ejection or CME. So you might perhaps assume that the discharge of a star's upper environment is reasonably typical to ask about the nature of the star system. Okay, now here's the point. The Betelgeuse giant surface mass ejection slammed off 400 billion extra coronal mass ejections than the average number of CME about with this unexpected occurrence. André Dupree, an astrophysicist at the Center of Astrophysics, said, We have never seen a huge mass ejection of the surface of the star. We are left with something going on that we don't fully understand. Betelgeuse, which is easily noticeable as a faraway star from the planet's surface, wasn't visible in the sky at night for the last several months because of this event. Also, not everything is decided. There can be both coronal mass ejections and surface mass ejections. Undoubtedly, the star is having serious temper problems, and Andrea Dupree said Betelgeuse keeps doing bizarre stuff. Presently, the inside of the planet is wobbling, and this is due to Betelgeuse's strange behavior. Researchers have kept track of its beat for about 200 years, and have seen that the star's pulse dims and then brightens in a loop that repeats every 400 days. But because of how intense the explosion is, this pulse has stopped for now. But Andrea Dupree has attempted to put the riddle together, each component by component. 
and discovered that the star is not silent, not really in our lifetime. Debris thinks that the pulsation loop is still going on. The good news means that the pulsing cycle hasn't ended up dead for good yet. It's just paused, maybe for a brief duration. She also thinks that the star could gradually improve, rather than die quickly, although this is challenging to believe. As we've already said, specialists have never seen a star lose a significant portion of its surface layer so quickly. This implies that what we know about this location is still relatively new and poorly understood. It's feasible that Betelgeuse surface mass ejection and Sun's coronal mass ejections are two distinct phenomena. For now, scientists are depending on a new picture from the James Webb Space Telescope that will assist them in figuring out how and why Betelgeuse's surface is giving off so much light. If this star dies, it will be sad, but the supernova will be so powerful and bright that we'll be able to observe it during the day hours from Earth. This will be the first supernova that people will get to see since the previous one, which occurred in the 1600s. Researchers are unsure exactly when it will occur, but it could happen any time during the next 100,000 years. We don't know if we'll be around to see it though. The first thing you might have thought about is whether or not this supernova will change life on Earth. Well, the best part is that Betelgeuse's death won't change our lives or the lives of our children and our grandchildren. This doesn't mean that no one will observe the incident. Jared Goldberg and Evan Bauer went to UCSB, where graduate students discovered that when the Betelgeuse finally explodes, individuals will be able to observe it from 549 light years away because it will glow so brightly as the moon. In addition, you will be able to see the outburst for more than three months. Concerning this outburst, Howell, an astrophysicist, said all the brightness would be concentrated into one point. So it would be this incredibly bright beacon in the sky that will cast shadows at night and one that you'll be able to see during the day. And everyone all over the world will be curious about it because it will be impossible to avoid. Even if rays from the supernova don't reach Earth straight because of how far away it is, the huge explosion can still have shocking impacts on Earth. Howell claims that a large number of animals on Earth use the moon as a way to find their way and that any artificial light could throw them off. Since the supernova will be so shiny, it could interfere with the light from the moon. This is confined to having some effect on our biodiversity. Paradoxically, the lighting will make it difficult for astronomers to do their jobs. Even so, despite how big Betelgeuse is, we do not even know much about it. It's feasible that Betelgeuse has blown up and we simply don't know about it right now because it's so far away. But when will space events ever be easy to predict? Anyhow, that's it for today. If you like this video, smash the like button and subscribe to our channel for more future updates. Thank you for watching. See you next time.